We cannot discuss the global economy without mentioning some of the largest and fastest growing countries in the world. These countries have come to be known as the BRICS countries, B-R-I-C-S, which is an acronym for the collective that includes the countries of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Originally, beginning with their first meeting in 2008, this group was just the BRIC countries. But in 2010, South Africa joined this group of growing economic powers that are clearly exerting more power and influence in their respective regions and around the globe. Taken together, these five countries have a gross domestic product valued at nearly $20 trillion. They own about $4 trillion of foreign currency, and they represent approximately 3 billion people, which is nearly half of the world's population. Given such significant financial and human resources, the BRICS countries are undoubtedly a group that requires attention. Moreover, in 2011, these countries established the BRICS Forum to encourage and facilitate stronger cooperation on commercial, political, and cultural issues. In particular, the group vowed to create its own development bank, possibly to rival the well-established International Monetary Fund and World Bank. Although at least one of the BRICS members has publicly mentioned that the group's purpose is to defend developing countries and promote peace, relations among the BRICS countries are not entirely easy and without their own difficulties. These countries also have their significant disagreements, often compete with one another in global markets, especially energy markets, and even experience intergroup territorial disputes. Despite their common interests in working together and collectively facing global economic forces, they also face a number of issues that could tear them apart. Nonetheless, the existence of a united front and the development of the BRICS Forum is something that other major economic powers of the world cannot ignore. But you tell us what you think. Are the BRICS countries a challenge to other economic powers in the global community and a threat to global economic stability? Or are they likely to promote more even growth around the world and contribute to more peaceful and globally beneficial economic relations? Tell us what you think.